Hey guys, welcome to the factorizing practice questions. Hopefully you guys would remember how to do these from last year. Um, have a go and then come back and then check the answers after you've done them. Okay, so uh, the first thing when you are factorizing a quadratic in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c so as you can see we have an x squared term, an x term and a constant term with no x and when that's the case uh, you need to draw a box so we factorize using the box method and I want you to put the top the first term in the top left hand side the last term in the bottom right hand side and then you're gonna think to yourself what term multiplied by what term will give you x squared so it's obviously x times x gives you x squared now what two terms multiply together to give you 6 well obviously it's 2 times 3 so x times x is x squared 2 times 3 is 6 and uh, as you can guess we need to fill in these two boxes here using the product of the column and the row headings so 2 times x is 2x and 3 times x is 3x and now what I want you to do is check that the diagonal which is the top right and the bottom left the terms in the diagonal 2x and 3x they add together to give you the term in the middle of the expression which you're trying to factorize so 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x so that means that you have filled in the box correctly and therefore the answer to this question will be in the column and the row headings of the box which is x plus 2 x plus 3 so these are the answers okay similarly we're gonna do that to this question so we put the first term which is x squared in the top left the last term which is 18 in the bottom right what two terms multiply together to give you x squared x times x what two terms multiply together to give you 18 uh, 9 times 2 and uh, now 9 times x is 9x 2 times x is 2x now let's check whether the diagonal adds together to the term in the middle of the expression so 9x plus 2x equals 11x now does 11x equal the term in the middle no it doesn't so what that means is we have chosen the wrong combination of numbers in the box so what I, what I would like you to do is uh, think of two numbers that multiply together to give you 18 but add together to give you negative 9 right so you sort of have to think of these numbers before you fill in the box so we were up to here with the box and we want to decide what number to put in the column heading and the row heading there, there so that these two numbers not only add together to give you 18 but also sorry these two numbers not only multiply together to give you 18 but also add together to give you negative 9 so let's just do a little test let's try 9 times 2 9 times 2 is 18 but 9 plus 2 is 12 uh, is 11 so it doesn't work alright now let's try uh, 3 times 6 3 times 6 is 18 3 plus 6 is 9 now notice how we have negative 9 negative 9 is the term in the middle so uh, yes 3 times 6 works but 3 plus 9 is 9 but we want negative 9 
So let's try three times, sorry, negative three times negative six is then positive 18. Negative three plus negative six is negative nine. So the numbers we need to pick are negative three and negative six. Right, because negative three times negative six is positive 18. Negative three times x is negative three x. And negative six times x is negative six x. So therefore we have, uh, let's check the diagonal, adds up to the term in the middle. So negative three x plus negative six x equals negative nine x. So therefore the answer is equal to bracket and the column headings and the row headings are x minus three, x minus six. Okay, thanks for watching, see you next time.